Good afternoon, good evening, 3.10 p.m. Central Standard Time. How are you all doing? I decided to come back in. It's quite chilly out there for a April Fool's Eve. I'm nobody's fool. A fool says in his heart, there is no God. And the God that we say that we serve, black Americans, African Americans, after going through so much already, our ancestors, our name calling, we still have our own fights, our inner demons, and demonstrations. And so I come to you today with a humble heart, but it's light. I keep my burdens light. Um light as a feather to be in uh, in compliance with mayat, with math, with arithmetic, a rhythm to continue in life beyond our squabbles. And so my hands are outstretched. Okay. You can't see them all the way, but can you trust me that I wouldn't green screen it or make up something just to get a like or a click or a thumbs up would you believe me even if you didn't see me I would hope so but just in case it is what it is I want to talk to you today and I want to ask you some questions as a person I want you to is that right oh it's not right hold on there we go. As a as a black woman, I want you to uh, take this as a journaling assignment in your diary, your time on earth, your time as a single woman, your time as a married woman, your time as a virgin, you know, whatever stage of life you want to talk to yourself, higher self, lower self, older self, younger self. I invite you to pin her a letter. Call her Jane. Call her, you know, little girl, old woman, wise one. You know, call her the existentialist. Call her Harriet Tubman. Call her um, Rosa Parks. And tell her what you saw this weekend as it pertained to trophies. As it pertained to awards and who got the attention and why. I want you to look at their names. I want you to look at your YouTube desktop and or the skin, if you will, and ask yourself are you still interested in what has populated on your desktop it touches my heart because as it pertains to mr. and mrs. Smith the real reality black mr. and mrs. Smith their lives don't have much of a veil much of a curtain definitely not an iron one between what they do on camera and what they do off camera so we can make harsh judgments when you can follow people into their proverbial bathroom to their metaphoric laundry room and you see their humanity they're not just stars they have tears they're not just tears that they get paid for they they, 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 you prick them, they'll bleed. You punch them, they will swell. So is it Hercules becoming human or humanity becoming Hercules? And here's your clue. We're more powerful than before. We want answers right now. We want to know what happened yesterday. And we want accurate answers and we want agreement or we want to know what everybody else thinks about it or maybe I shouldn't say we maybe I should say us the US us wants to know 
there's a thing called ratings and Nielsen ratings and scales and measurements that allow the energy of the most tribal union on the planet the black union I address you today you all are my brothers and sisters you all are my father's children my mother mm, not, maybe not so much but my father and my mother honestly quite honestly people and angels and saints now of faith that a day like this would come where no matter how funny I want to be because I said I wanted to be um, I didn't want to miss my calling as a as a you know stage coach as a sandman as a you know hook the crook and walk them off the gong show you know bagged man the somebody to laugh with not necessarily at but again there's a very 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 thin line because just oh not so long ago a few steps ago down the pyramid or up the pyramid we have a white Mr. and Mrs. Smith killing and snapping necks and we want to get an award for it and they go to the proverbial they go they go to the silver screen behind the fourth wall and they they fake play counsel getting counseled and it's funny right ha 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 right but when somebody brings out a red table symbolic of the blood when somebody shaves their head symbolic of their strength and their glory and lay it before you all and they don't hide behind nobody else's names you look them up their name didn't change except through marriage when she said it was an entanglement, it was just that. It was an entanglement. When somebody tell you the truth, believe them. Why can't we use it right there? That man said, I am the greatest. Y'all didn't believe him? Y'all got a TV show says everybody hates Chris. Thankfully, I'm not one of them. I don't know what hates mean anymore. I don't know what love means anymore. If I were to watch you all, if I were to come from behind the sequestered wall as an innocent child and look at the screen, I can't tell night from day. I can't tell fake from fiction. I can't tell silver screen from redemption. Thank God I got discernment. Thank God I still got my nose on. Harumph to you all who got your septum man, who got your nose pierced. Letting people know you ain't snorted to the bullshit. No up the chimney this rose nose boo. Don't be so gullible audience. I'm spe I'm trying out for a PR. This is my resume. This is my resume. I'm French today. We oui, we oui, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. The real ones, the black ones. I'm trying out for a position and my phone numbers, get your people to call my people. My phone number is 314-498-8208. I got some creams and some jellies that might work. We can concoct something and we can go back to the roots to the old time way. My name is Kunta Kente. And I still got my feet on. I grew a limb. I grew a root. You put grace under fire. You put pressure under fire. You've got skin of one color, but always representing the black. Let us represent ourselves then all the way. 
Stop being afraid to segregate and to come out from among them. He may be banned from next year. Shut your pie hole. It would be good if it were up to him. Will it's up to you if you want to go back up in there or not. You got your trophies. Let's bring some hope. Let's, let's pick up one of them L's and make it Hollywood again. Let's put a W at the beginning and call it wholeness wood. The whole wood with the berry on it. With the roots and everything. Alexander Scorby. Put the veil in front of it. That'd be me. I want to know was it a script written that's what I want to know I want to know since Chris already had another show scripted out he said he had been working on he wasn't trying to change his script just because something dramatic happened so I want to know did he write the script that night about G.I. Jane I want to know I'm asking for myself I'm asking for Jesus so when I go back in my prayer time I can give him some a synopsis with some facts on it and if someone wrote and collaborated that script I would like to ask who that is and if I may have a word with them you all already have my number I'll give it to you again 314-498-8208 I'm not trying to lead the sheep astray I'm not trying to crucify Chris all over again afresh and I'm surely not trying to bring Ali down see how that works see how you can cover all four walls your religious beliefs your non-religious beliefs your career your family your reputation you can put it all on the line and keep it all in step and not miss a beat We don't have to shred ourselves apart. We don't have to break our bodies again and feed ourselves and, and, and sweat and blood and all that. We ain't got to do that no more. We don't have to be the martyrs anymore. You don't have to martyr any part of your life anymore. So. They have children in front of the camera they have children at the Oscars they chose not to have their children in, in safe quarantine quarters behind closed doors they put their children in front of the camera from the beginning from the Genesis And y'all got the nerves to say people didn't ask to be here. I'm not talking just about their kids. I'm talking about them. You know, these kids didn't ask to be here. Did you did? We all started out as kids, right? I mean, supposedly the timeline that we're still on this real dense timeline that y'all on. Y'all didn't watch so much TV, you just full of it. Let television go off. Put the rainbow sign back up. Go to sleep. Hear the black and white popcorn. Get up in the morning. Smell your breath. Brush your teeth. Get on your knees. Pull the get the dust. You know, get ready to sneeze. But get the tennis shoes. Get the the bunny slippers. Push them all the way up under the bed, like Mr. Denzel Washington said. That his mama said. Because there's nothing more dangerous than people. It's easy to hide behind monitors. It's easy to hide behind the glass window. But what happens when your name don't change. When your government is all you have. See some of y'all pooking them and shoo shoo qua qua over here and king poo poo pom pom over there. But then when it comes down to your government, you you all jacked up. We can't run your credit. We can't run your social. That ain't gonna change. 
And my social is under the water because I protected my mother. I protected my father. I protected my sisters. I protected my brothers. And you see where these fingers are pointing? You see where these fingers are pointing? That means she's serious. She go for the jugular and for the heart. Does it look like I'm lying to somebody? This is my honor. My triangle is in my lap. This is my head. This is where I process stuff at. And if all you're going to be is a bunch of vegetables and geometries and shapes and colors. There was some shock factor, wasn't it? Five million views in a few hours. Ten million views. You ain't got to have a computer. You ain't got to have a cell phone. And I misspoke. I thought he punched him. But he slapped him. That was called disrespect for you. Cycle for y'all. This is okay. I didn't introduce the class. This is psychology 101. I am your teacher and your host and your rabbi. Your guru. Your shoe shame. I mean I'll throw a shoe at you. Because you should be shaming yourself. Y'all have seen all of these movies. Where they basically bait you into your own hands. To see how silly you're going to act. When you see something, knowing that for all you wet panties in the corner, gooly gooly and that Smith for doing it, please come out and tell the truth. Please come out and tell the truth and shake Jada's hand so the, in, in, the, in the spirit realm so that we can be honest about what we saw. How dare that person? How dare that person get on my my soapbox? Talking about it was August all 2020. No matter what day it was, had to keep saying the joke. So make sure everybody make sure he got it. But showing a picture of August and Jada together. Why would they even do that? Oh, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, you don't know? Oh, you think you think because they're Hollywood people do that? What you want me to hide it? So then you can catch me paparazzi style? And some hotel deciding to try to get a breath of fresh air and y'all creeping around like ghoulies doing stakeouts you've been watching too much channel 11 too much chief too much tv too much starsky and hutch for y'all too much beretta too much colombo too much coli coli savalis hold on no covid hold on <coughs> see watch that in the bend of the elbow or if you were going to do it, do it with a... I don't know what to tell y'all. You germaphobes. <coughs> it's the revenge of the rainbow. That's what it is. And I got sprinkles. I got sprinkles. Taste the rainbow. Ah. If he meant him harm, he would have given him a clothes fence. He would give him a knuckle sandwich and rubbed his head until all the hair came out. That's what they do in Native American. I'm telling you what I know. They would have scanned him like a cat. Okay? Okay. They don't have a problem crucifying Jesus. They never did. And clearly, y'all never will. Because you don't... <laughs> did y'all hear it? Did you hear it? You get it? Never will. 
I got your back, Will. I'm, I don't know who you had in the corner in the movie Muhammad Ali. Uh, excuse me, Ali in the movie Ali. I don't know who you had, but you got me in your corner. Chris, I don't mind taking a look at your jaw either. You know, again, if you want black people, because I don't have no, there go my credentials on the board, and they'll change again tomorrow. They'll change again in a few minutes. I'm your gargoyle. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Come over here if you want to. Quarantine me if you want to. By the way, go ask Val. That is my dollar sign cash app. Do y'all see this? Because I'm, I'm recording. Something about my voice. That's what one of the mistresses had said. She said it was something about your voice. I called you and and she had told me a lie about what her name was. I didn't care. Name Stephanie. Okay, whatever. <laughs> Watch. That's a that's an acronym. Watch. And C Gold. And that's S E E Gold. And that's a dollar sign is in a snake and a shish kebab stick. Hold on, I got I got a I got a burp. Hold on. Jesus coming. Hold on. <clears throat> Look lazy. <clears throat> Wealth Watch stands for wealth, action, teach, catch, and have. Wealthy, healthy, and wise. Wealthy, healthy, and wise. Jesus was first. Jesus' first gift recorded, other than life itself not being smothered in, in the, you know, not a seed's case, was, was gold. Gold. Were any of you born with a gold? spoon in your mouth did y'all come with gold teeth i had to get mine i had to earn mine earn it to burn it wealth action hollywood or none teach that's what i'm doing catch the fish they slippery fishes are slipperies but they got a smell to them even if it's fresh it's a still it's, it's still a smell you should smell it. Smell like fresh, 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 fresh fish off the market. Crabs finally got off the bucket, by the way, y'all. And have. Have. Not half. Not half. I have. To have and to hold the whole thing. Okay. Again, um, I don't think Will Smith, and I'm sorry if this, this is going off the charts and the thing. Turn it down if you must. Excuse me for yelling, but y'all can't seem to hear. I know it's not that kind. I know it's not that kind of can't hear. Testing, testing. Maybe if I had an engineer over here, over here, anyone? <clears throat> How long have I been talking? Anybody? Lester. <laughs> I still ain't missed my call. I ain't missed none of my calls. Anyway, I'm I'm gonna just keep going for a while. What time is it? 3:33 p.m. on the clock on a 3:31, 2:22, 2:22, 2 whatever. Um, where was I at? I gave an invitation. I gave a call to action. That's that's one thing that we have to make sure we do when we tell people what we're gonna do, or we, you know, I'm going to explain to you all that you are in need of a leader that looks like you, knows like you, acts like you, thinks like you, feels like you are already put a T on the end of that. I felt like you. I've been like you. I've acted like you. T. That's T. After it happens, you debrief and you talk about it. Okay. That's, that's what you do when you teach. Okay. Teaching is a labor of love. Teachers don't do. They teach. No, they did already. They're dead to themselves. Okay. They, they're here for the little ones. Little ones to him belong. <sighs> catch. So, I had to catch a fish with my bare hands. It was a big one. I just had to hold on to it. Just, I, had pur- I had porpoise. <laughs> here she go. To have and to hold a porpoise. This booklet is your proof of your active power to want to attain wealth. If you found me, you really do want wealth. Because I'm not advertising anything. I found Jesus a long time ago. 
weary, wounded, and sad. <laughs> okay? We laughed about it. Here we go. This is a booklet. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk through it because you got time. Step two is to continue the action by teaching and catching to tweak. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm tweaking. I'm tweaking. He that hath an ear or an eye or a nose or a throat or anything, a skin. Let him hear this word. Pass it along. Thumb it up. Let us decide on what's good, what's bad, what's fact, what's fiction, what's okay, what's not okay. What's worth 5k? We have to decide, good people. We can't let people keep jerking us off like that. You know, let me give you a compliment and let me jab you. You've done so well. You've been my eyes and ears on the ground. Valerie, what do you think about this situation? You know, I, I do have a lot to say, but you're going to pay me for my opinion. That's what I said. I'm, I'm going to have a, a 900 number so that you can pay me for my opinion. And that way, if you don't like my opinion, it doesn't matter. You've paid for it. Because I'm not a judge. I'm huge, but I'm not a judge. I don't fudge. I chocolate. Anyway, use this laser-focused approach in other areas of want, act, teach, catch have learn it it ain't too hard give siri a break give your iphone whatever her or his name is hold on it's not an eye booger i promise i cleaned my eyes this morning i had to get the plank out of my own eye use this laser focus approach in other areas want act teach catch have i want to reach you all those who don't know how they feel about it like a mother would feel I don't want to see a black man get punched I don't want to see a black man not get punched I think we're more upset about it because you didn't have your popcorn you wasn't ready but somebody was and it doesn't matter because even though it was live, it was recorded. So everybody gets to play it back and get in the mood and let it swell again like an inflammation, like like a pus till it poop just pops open. And now we got a vaccine. Because we are cash cows and we are wounded. But you know what they do? What, what Pharmaca do spiritual pharmaca does they scrape wounds and then they go and infect a little eight year old boy with it and see if he survives and that's called vaccine get it this ain't about no moo cows and no field Okay, maybe it is. It's the two-legged cows we're after. And thankfully, it's coming from a woman. So you kind of understand, understand, I said it. You understand that I don't have nothing to take from you, women of God, women of the moon, women of the Menzies, women that bleed. O, A, B, A, B positive, O negative, R, H factors and all. Who are you really? What's going on in your DNA? What's going on in your chakras? We watched, what was the movie? Wakanda, the fictitious Africa, the fictitious motherland. We watched him kneel before bald women. We watched them tribally show off their breasts. October pink month, breast cancer awareness month. Niggas ain't got nothing on us month. Balancing the scales month. 
We got women with big booties. Booties is assets. Pirates money. Bounty. Cash. Spoils. Assets. Big booty, little booty. It's all money. Okay? So when somebody decides to actually meditate and try to, you know, try to, excuse me, no try, do. They ascend like a Yoda, like a Yada, like the Elohim touching the hem of the garment, the Yoda, Yada, Jada, Yada, soft J. She said, I'm here for the healing. But some has to be broken first. Because I've already ascended. I don't know why my hair is falling out. It was falling out because you are ascending, sister. Sister. And we were taught that flesh cannot glory in the sight of God. You can't see yourself the way you would in an ascended state. So I'm here to change that. I'm here to Morpheus. Because if all we're going to do is if black man Morpheus, then you're going to be bald headed. And I'm, I've shaved my head more than once. I've given the spear. Cheers. I'm not afraid. It is not, but see, y'all, we, 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 we sing these songs. We are our hair. We are our skin. We are our hair, our heir, our heiresses, our descendants, ascendants, ancestors, predecessors, possessors. We're, we're all of that. And we stayed in the fire long enough to look through the mirror transparently. I don't see you as big you, little me, big me, little you. I don't care how tall you are, how short you are, how much money you got. There's an even playing field called Mama. And I, I, I can't use the word lost. Mine was stolen from me back in the day. I was 11. The open door. The door of the explorer. I went through that maze of life. I went following the light into darkness there was one day I saw pitch black nothing but pitch black the the blackness was thick darkness truly covered the earth and and when my knower knew it I didn't hear that scripture but when my knower knew that I was in the thick of God I went crazy. I was like, shit, take me now. Hey, hey, I'm ready. This is a good time. I don't care about nobody. Who could act? To infinity and beyond. But y'all call that crazy. That depends on who's listening. That depends on who's. Do you want to hurt yourself? No. But wouldn't that hurt your other self, your mini self, your child back home, your grandchildren or whatever? Wouldn't that hurt them? So that's what that silver cord is about that brings you back, that pulls you from the water, pulls you from outer space. When you go to those places where you start to count up the cost and weigh, do I need to be here for all of this? Do I need to sign these emotional, con these sacred contracts, these spiritual contracts with invisible ink and, and fine print and, and words that be changing and stuff and meanings be changing? I've been here long enough to see the meanings of words change to mean the very opposite of what they originated to be. So I'm passionate about righting wrongs and seeing what's left. Okay? Because everybody wants this at some point but as long as all we have is trinkets you know 
run in front of us as if there's only one prize then you have everybody pawing at the one prize and so many people's opinion on top of your head is a kind of inflammation it's a kind of rage but it's a it's a it's a fierceness oh my god sand ball in my eye it's a fierceness and again you are pure you're a purifying island for not just your daughter not just for your mother to see these things take place in front of their very eyes it's like god watching the angels all over again construct and reconstruct and and perfect the saints the ants the people that think they're small the people that think because they're a mouse that they don't have uh, a purpose for the lion if the lion is for the elephant those that don't forget those that no matter how much they are big and roar and mighty and kings of the jungle all it takes is one little splinter all it takes is one little shard of glass to prick you and let you know that you bleed but women are reminded of that every month every month that's what makes you a woman when you're doing that kind of stuff it keeps you on calendar you ain't got to ask what day it is if you miss your period I mean you ask but it's rhetorical you know what I mean like I said I'm, I'm here this is my um, self-awareness check to make sure that I don't make up uh, there's no star on this door my my pentagram is on the inside my pentatook is on the inside my gems are are documented up here in here back there all over We start to leave our DNA down here as a marker in case we shed too much too fast. But that's all we're doing. We're shedding our skin. We're taking off these old clothes. We're getting used to dying again. We're getting used to transcending fear. You married into yourself. You married into a will. A will in the middle of a will. A man who is more than an idea he's a double you not just one of you a double you i and we hit the other part wilhelm we, we hit the helmet because we had this whole movie called concussion remember we used to play y'all used to play head button games clash of the titans chicken stuff like that we need to decide if we're going to go back to olympia or not we're going to go back to the olympics on a daily schedule or if we're going to leave and walk away from nonviolence altogether. and please don't turn off the camera or don't turn off the emotions or turn on the emotions whichever one has been dormant don't do it at an award show when you've been just flicking on five golden rings and Lord of the Titans and Harry Snoopy Potter and all of that stuff. Two thumb clicks ago. One command ago. Siri, play the end of the world. Siri, pull up Independence Day, the day that you standing all by yourself on a cross like a hangman. The day that you put a rope around your own neck and say, what? What? When you don't mind jumping out of airplanes. When you don't mind socking it to me one more time. When you don't know if you still have anything else to prove. 
And I came to that day, even when I was broke. I'm like, you sure you ain't got nothing else to prove? <laughs> you sure you don't want no money to show for it? No, I ain't gonna do, 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 do. That's my show for. Not even all this stuff I have around me. I gave up the pen. I gave up the pipe. I gave it all up to know that I still got this pipe. It's more than a dream. Don't never let. Man, you got. See, I get it. I get it. Hold on. Will, don't never let anybody, not even me, tell you what you can't do. Yes. Everything was on the line. We can lay hands on Chris later, but everything was on the line. You had a you had two black women in the pyramid section right there. I don't know her name, forgive me, the black the African woman, her the model and Jada. I told my daughter told me her name, so I wouldn't lose on family feud, so don't even worry about that. But the triangle was I I saw the eye. A woman's eye roll. Yeah, he was supposed to laugh at first. That's the bow. That's the hit in the armor. They braced. Chris braced him. Here come the rock falling on you. Plymouth Rock right here. Apply pressure. Jada, love you. But. Headbutt. Bow. And Will felt that. Now, not one of my black people will be lost on my watch. And guess what? I got all the time in the world. Y'all don't have to drag them no more. They strong. They tough. Use the word agape love. That means without any regard he was he didn't hesitate he laughed when he was supposed to laugh and he stopped laughing when he was supposed to stop laughing he cried when he was supposed to cry he's right on cue for who will smith is and i only i only know and hope that not only was, um, again, I don't know y'all name. Forgive me. Y'all make it hard. Um, the guy that bowed down and died of cancer later on. I know y'all screaming it. I still ain't going to hear you because y'all don't know. Anyway. Um, when he bowed down. When he kneeled. When he submitted to the authority to the sovereignty of a woman symbolizing the real truth of God the real aspect of creator and then creation the whole world saw that y'all y'all don't think the devil would be mad about that that we started having our whole parties Wakanda forever you know what forever mean? That's a mighty long time, but I'm here to tell you there's something else. The after party. You can see the sun day or night. So when you call up that shrink in Beverly Hills, you know the one. Well, I'm not in Beverly Hills at this point. And I don't know if I want to be. I don't know. I don't particularly like being here anymore in the show me state but this is my mo it's my job to know so for, from mo to ca we got mocha chocolate hey let me read the rest of this while i'm on the roll wealth is increased by our quality by the quality of our existence i'll read it again wealth is increased 
by the quality of our existence and we are quality people whatever we bring we bring the rest whatever we bring we bring the best wealth of knowledge q o o e let me put my readers on y'all gotta understand why i'm into stem cell research amino acids and rebuilding proteins wealth is increased by the quality of our existence that's the qoe since people love their acronyms the quo that's this is the new status not bringing the t okay you can quote me on that Psst. the longer we are here the more we experience life adapting to experiences adds to knowledge adapting to experiences adapting not resisting adapting to experiences adds to knowledge do not resist the devil. He will not flee from you. Not anymore. There's a new sheriff in town. There's a new seraphim in town. Sarah. Okay. Interactions measure our wealth of knowledge and its usefulness in the world useful for accurate monetization that equates to a financial legacy i am legend talking about me now these are legendary moments again we're we're not doing any special takes nowadays guys i don't I never really feel like what's said on my computer just because I load this up or I put this particular CD. I don't feel like that stuff is quote safe. People use all kind of conniving reasons to try to infiltrate your system. And I'm talking about people that we call the law. So I stopped feeling like the world had some ability to protect me from that that's why you have people running down the street saying they trying to kill me i don't care how high you are you still understand the concept whether you got that ooh we or that ooh woo the concept says there's this invisible god that's demonstrating that's having you to that's feeding off of your adrenaline And as that commercial said just not so long ago, when your wisdom teeth are gone, or that's what they call them, you think you need your wisdom, you need your mama, because you got s stories that nobody, you told them, I told them to say the drama for your mama, you told them to tell it to the judge, y'all didn't get nobody else to talk to. Y'all said Jesus wasn't listening or whatever. He's just listening when you pray. He can't talk back. You know, it just... Anyway, we have all experiences and the basic instincts of surviving and thriving have become invaluable. We have all experiences and the basic instincts of surviving and thriving have become invaluable. See, y'all don't know nothing about the lion's pride. It doesn't matter what month you're born in. You have a family pride. And you will do what it takes to preserve your pride, especially if you know you got the strength to do it. This is to wake, do more than wake you all up. It's to put you on the right path so that you're not defending something that's not yours. And so that you are defending that which is yours. While you're trying to cover the story of Jada and Will, do you have your house in order? in that order or are you using them as a measuring stick and if you are again put this in your journal i gotta be honest with myself don't burn it look at it read it you can burn it after it if you're so afraid of people knowing who you are i don't care anymore you need to know who i am know me as i am known i had a oneness journal with my previous with my ex 
I came up with the idea. Let's write our names. Let's write our thoughts in the same journal. We know no matter how busy we get, we do have to still use the bathroom. Kings, queens, and otherwise. Everybody got to go to the bathroom sometime. So let this be the time you read it and open it and you, you contribute. So we don't say that we don't have time. To find out what's going on in each other's hearts and minds. You know how much strength it takes? You know how much armor you have to remove? This is coming from a cancer, y'all. It's coming from a crab. It's coming from somebody who's been given a bad rep, a bad reputation, a bad name. So I've, I've had to truly empathetically and narcissistically enter into the, the emotions, not the people, the emotions, the ocean. Dive deep, guys. Deep, deep. Stay out the shallow end. Babies, get on down there deep. See what this is really all about. Counseling sessions are open. I will be taking appointments. Donations, dollar sign, go ask Val. If you want to, you need something tangible. I have a puzzle slash funny book. I call it, I'm just called Awesome Day on Purpose by Valerie Jefferson. It's on Amazon. Whatever way that you want to support somebody who doesn't have a Hollywood budget, someone, someone that does not want to have 15 lawyers or even any lawyers in her room, in her courtroom, in her intimate space. People that don't know how to take off their their shells, their skin, their badge, and be human. I don't want to, I don't want those people in my space because they grab some kind of complex and then they can't hear, they can't see anymore. All we seeing is blood and gore and shoot them up and bang bang and you know, come on. And then, and then we get mad because somebody acts it out in real honor? Are we are we serious? I'll put on my flip flops at another time. I'll talk about Chris and again, he he can have his calendar time as well. He can he can schedule if you want to help. I I can help you process, Chris. And apparently you have some prayers to be answered as well. I take all money. I take all money. Okay. I ain't choosing no sides. I want the main. Where's the beef? Where's the beef? I ain't choosing sides. I'm on the Lord's side. I'm on the side of Jada. I'm here to heal. I'm here to sit back. I'm here to rest my feet. I'm here to um, get rid of these invisible ticks and fleas that we got. From from rolling with this this these words, these plays on words, these scripts that may not come from our heart. You know, we gotta watch what we what we read off and, and and record and stuff. So, active sharing. That's what I'm doing. Here's my call to action. Thank God I got something scripted down. Where are the yes sayers? Where and where are the nay nays? Where are the no sayers? The naysayers. And I I'd re, I prefer naysayers because somebody said no means no, but K N O W sounds like no, and N O sounds like no. So for those who don't read, can't read, don't have Braille, you know, we have to go beyond the word no sometimes. So know in the biblical sense, know your blood type as in knowledge. What is your blood type and be able to tell it. That's the, that's the kind of no we're talking about. Know what your blood tastes like even. Prick your finger, you know, let your blood know I, I, we ain't dead. 
Know your blood type, your height, and your weight, and teach others to measure these biological vitals. These are vital things to know about yourself. You are salt. You see that word right there? S A L T. Six salt. Sit. Six salts. Potassium, magnesium, all them isms or salts. So if we want to check and make sure our bodies are in proper chemistry, biological chemistry, then we need to check our salts. Know your body weight converted from kilograms or pounds into ounces, OZ. Smartphones make this easy with your voice activated search. So if you weigh 135 pounds, know that you you can say, Siri, how many pounds or how many kilograms is 130 pounds or whatever. Know the real time price of gold in ounces. At the time of this recording, it was 1808 per ounce. Eight that means $1,808 an ounce. So know your weight in ounces. So I know my weight in pounds. So then I would say convert 130 pounds into ounces. What is 133 pounds in ounces? She would tell me. Or that voice would tell me. Use that number. 1808 times whatever she said in ounces. Use that number as your dollar sign in step three to create a framework of your worth. Of worth around you. I'll say it like I read, like I read it. Use the answer. Use the answer dollar sign fill in the blank in step three to create a framework of your of worth i keep saying your worth i'll I'll leave it at that of your worth around you and your assets because you and your worth and all that you are are your assets and that and that much more your legacy all of that but we have to start with some kind of framework okay and i'm happy to see that the smiths have their whole family in a frame and I say whole family. I'm talking about the immediate family. But you rarely see that. And that's why a pride can be attacked. Because that's that doesn't but anyway. Here's a suggestion number five. Obtain a term life insurance policy for ten percent of the face amount of your net worth, of your new net worth, as you build your wealth in other ways. So again, this number that you come up with, it's gonna be in the millions basically take 10 percent of that number let's say it's two hundred thousand, and that should be the face amount for either your term life insurance policy um or a as i mentioned earlier today on another channel an accidental life insurance policy and basically what that does is again that gets you out of hot water that gets you out of emotional discomfort and and the wrong kind of comfort it says no matter what happens if i die before i wake before I realize that I'm going to be back again, I've left something for my family to feed um, versus on grief and tears. This amount should cover all outstanding debts and the primary home expenses as applicable. And again, my idea is to make building homes very practical. Um, whether it's solar panels or something else more innovative but quickly get us out of this cycle of debt which is a cycle of debt which is a cycle of death the life insurance policy gives you instant worthiness with God and man to leave an inheritance for your children's children as you build a living legacy begin this process for every child and grandchild when they are born suggestion use up to 20 pounds which comes out to 320 ounces as a standard calculation for minors because again you can't you don't want your your the average child you don't want them walking around with a bounty on their head okay so you keep your numbers reasonable and that's that's going to be lawful anyway according to the laws of this land so that's that is my suggestion as a rule of thumb as a licensed life insurance agent broker okay i'm not representing any particular company when i say this i'm telling you this is what i would do if i were still having children or grandchildren thank you 
it is not only that we share but what we share that makes us valuable and that's what I just did I shared my heart with you and and I would share that with anybody uh, in that respect that information humans are contagious beings share wisely build wealth and leave a legacy a living legacy and you don't even have to leave it you can stay here and enjoy your children okay okay I'm almost done here it's just the last one yep that way you know look at the flowers in the pretty place as every human soul is valued with a presumed value worth their weight in gold the dignity dignity of life and equitability is restored so as far as I'm concerned everywhere everyone on this earth is worth their weight in gold not just a fraction and that's a, it, it they're worth more than that but again that's a framework that gives us value that gives us dignity especially when uh, those that live in starvation uh, are, are sitting on places that again have the richest of God's blessings anyway last one teach the gold standard to reach the masses God has blessed the child who has her own Jada Pinkett Smith I honor you woman of the most high mental health spiritual health emotional health I pray that you draw strength from all that I've gone through the pray prayers that I prayed in my darkest hour that no matter how hard it got for me as long as it helped someone and I definitely wasn't thinking like this you know but I'm honored no the nonetheless nonetheless one way or the other I'm honored to be able to call out a name of someone that I see their their aura their I see their character in the Bible by by way of acting on the silver screen and I pray for your golden age your golden years of redemption are restored in in true value again beyond the, the papers beyond the papers because I I just figure I figure it's not about that anymore if it ever if it ever was I don't think that was about that for us as as star seeds now fully grown and illuminated okay the more people in your circle that follow these steps the better your individual and group outcomes no time is wasted explaining or following up as everyone is in a constant state of teaching reaching and growing and so that little blurb I did this is for the average Joe average Jane those that aren't millionaires already it and aspire to be want to be they aspire to be you know, they have the spirit to be um as every human soul is valued with a presumed value worth their weight in gold the dignity of life and equitability is restored most humans are here to thrive we're here to thrive guys we're here to correct correct some situations for ourselves no one can correct our situations but ourselves there is no healing outside of us outside of is outside of this okay competition is someone else's idea of success I'm not competing to heal my life I'm not competing to reach others that someone else's idea of success my idea of success is me right now in this moment knowing that I will upload this in a few minutes put a, a title on it and will go on about my business until my phone rings at some point or to an email comes at some point but I won't dig up that seed I won't worry about if I said it right or if I could have used a different lighting I I'm past it I'm over <clears throat> I'm over it <clears throat> 
I got secrets of the Mesopotamia over here, okay? Y'all stop flashing the pictures so quick. Anyway. We came here to thrive and we don't need to compete. We don't need to compete. We don't need to put our flag in the sand first. We all we already know who did what. All right. The underlying motive is a need to get the prize before the other person slash team does. We all have our light. That is our prize. Having our light and our children. Our children are our prize. That is our light. That is our salvation. Excuse me. There is a burp. There is a confirmation there. You know, you burp the baby after you didn't feed the baby. You know, you got all the air out. You got all the bad air out. No malaria here, y'all. Having our light shine from the inside out is what displays our unique gifts and value beyond the monetary number and qualifies us as immeasurably indispensable beyond our lifetime. Movies. <laughs> All right. I think I've said it. I love you, America. I love you, Hollywood. I'm ready to build a new kingdom that's not dizzy, that's not hypnotized. When we do something, we're going to know that that's what we're doing, why we're doing it. And it's a place of healing and, and not conflict and competition. And that's why I've been set aside and kept apart. so that the only thing that truly matters is the truth and I'm here for truth I'm here for truth I'm here to see white flags and black flags we want re we, we, I'm gonna get it we run I'm gonna get it hold on we won the race that was hard we won the race we win we all win we get what we asked for and this is what I asked for to be at a place that I can talk as long as I want to and not feel like somebody's going to cut me off in the middle of my emotions oops sorry my time's up sorry see y'all guys next week you know billable hours you know yeah that's how I felt in my life when I was going through counseling is that it's going to take a while for me to take off the layers. And so by the time I get down to my layer, down to where I can feel comfortable enough to talk, you're going to cut me off. And at times I tried to find a way to condense and catechize my emotions. And it was just like, it's not worth it. That's how I felt because I was outnumbered. I didn't know how many invisible opinions were in that room telling me to just give up and I'm glad I gave up I'm glad I surrendered I'm glad there were times that people spoke for me when I could not speak for myself and I kind of wondered how, how did how did you how did you know that's what I was wanting to say and I bet there was a time where that man, he probably had the same problem. Or maybe, maybe he was the cause of that same problem at another time. I don't know. All I knew was he empathized. And he put himself in my place. And he stood up to the darkness in the room he shed light and he said until you sir go to or through contrition he said I hear all this stuff your life is on the line or your, your marriage is on the line your career is on the line your family is on the line he said and you know what here's the sad part about it he said I still don't hear contrition And that 
that bothered me. It didn't scare me. It bothered me because I wasn't ready to give up on this person or this marriage or my marriage or my person. But I knew what contrition meant by context. He ain't broken. He's not crushed. He's not humiliated. Why? Because I'm in the way. Why? Because somebody's going to come and clean up the mess. And who better than a scavenger? Who better than a crab in the bucket to clean up the bottom of the ocean? The cockroaches of the sea. They can't eat tires. They can't eat oil. So, and so it is emotionally that we've had to learn how to alchemize, and I've learned to call it valchemize. That be me. I had to make it my own. I had to say, you know what? Though I can't do it in this mindset, I'll have to become something, someone, somewhere else in order to fix a problem that has been created. That's what y'all said, right? You have to become something bigger and better than what you were when you created the problem. So I, I don't remember creating the problem of throwing tires in the ocean or whatever be done with that kind of stuff. But it's here. Because that's the other problem I feel like. We take the responsibility and the shame because we're listening to this woo-woo about what we did. We can't be picking cotton and throwing tires at the same time. We didn't spill the oil and drink the oil at the same time. We didn't do that. So I'm here so that we can rightly divide the people. The peephole. Okay. Because it's, it's not about what y'all been trying to make it be about as a whole. And I'm, I'm not talking to anybody in particular. I'm talking about the generic you. I think the, the biggest part of this all have been has been, and I'm not even talking about the, the family thing. It's just it's been the life, the world that we've been living in, the structure has been about ignorance. It's been about allowing things to accumulate and then having a balloon payment to pay and nobody wants to deal with it but there's this little skunk in the corner that has a shiny pen and that skunk would be me at this point porcupine even take one of my quills out and pop the bubble enough already air in our face Let's clear our air. Let's air our dirty laundry in a space in a safe space. Because no matter how much we think we know as a collective, some of you all well, no one will ever truly know except for an individual and their imprint. And to me, that's the intimacy, the intimate space with God, what we call God, universe, oneness, atonement. But when someone can truly guide us and usher to us into that place in ourselves, guide us through ourselves so that we can come up out of that and still and feel more whole than when we went down, more complete than when we went down. Can you find it in yourself to reconcile with self? With self. Okay, so we got to know who we messing with. We we have to know, we have to honor, We had, maybe we need to start showing each other our spiritual badges. Because if anybody going to wear badges and we have to honor that, we have to respect, or we, you know, we're being told to respect those badges, then the civilians need to start wearing their badges. The um, Hollywood needs to start wearing their badges off, off duty. I'm not Victor Newman right now. That's not my name. That's my, that's, I play Victor on TV. I'm someone else. I don't know his other name. Sorry. And that's, that's the challenge that we have is that we see someone and, and 
we've stuck them in a character role and then got upset because they're more than that or they are that and more and a more and a builder and a mason and freemason and illuminated and they got a fan ah! <laughs> all right that that being said um I'm, I'm done thank you all for those who came forward to view this channel and um again i i support you mr and mrs will and jada pinkett smith however y'all want to arrange those letters and names to me y'all all family now i would I'd clean up around here and invite you for tea. <laughs> no COVID. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with me. That's not denial. That's I took my own vaccine. I sell kisses for twenty five, <laughs> and I didn't even get my quarter, y'all. Anyway, I love you all. I'll talk to you later. V.